Hey, greetings, everyone. It's Saturday morning. It's actually my wife's birthday. Happy birthday, honey. Uh, it's Saturday. And um, I just posted a video yesterday showing some cool Beatle albums that I got. That's what I quoted it as. One of them, the Beatles Twist and Shout album. Um, I felt it needed a bit more attention than I gave it yesterday. And I was really inspired by a comment from one of our regular viewers, Joel from Bethlehem. Thank you, Joel, for always uh, participating, commenting, and I really appreciate you. Um, he said he's not familiar with the Beatles' capital Canadian albums and then put probably the same as American VJ releases, which is not correct. So that's why I thought people may need a bit of education from the basement. So, this is the album I'm referring to, Twist and Shout, The Beatles, featuring She Loves You, Capitol Records, Capitol was the official, like, not a niche label that, that took advantage of uh, Beatles releases before, like VJ and Swan and those ones, they're not the official kind of you know, Capitol Records in Canada and the U.S., Parlophone in the U.K. Um, so, this album, Twist and Shout, is the second Canadian album. Um, it was released in mono only. T6054 released February 3rd, 1964. Now, what else happened in February of 64? Just a few days later, the Beatles made their appearance on Ed Sullivan. This album came up prior to that. There was an album prior to that, which was called um, Meet the Beatles, Beatle, Beatlemania with the meet the Beatles or with the Beatles it was uh, similar to the UK with the Beatles um, a lot of the songs and everything were off that and this was the second Beatles album released in the UK but that was the first album released in Canada that was released I think in January of 64 um, so the twist and shout album is mirrors uh, the please please me album a lot of the tracks are on here. Uh, Anna, Chains, Ask Me Why, Please Please Me, um, P.S. I Love You, I think is on here, yes. Baby It's You is on here. Do You Know a, Do You Want to Know a Secret, A Taste of Honey, uh, There's a Place, Twist and Shout. Now, the big additions to this that weren't on there are From Me to You and She Loves You. That's what makes this kind of cool. So this was an official release. The Beatlemania album and this album were the two that I bought back in the day right away. Um, vividly remember the Beatles on Ed Sullivan, how exciting it was, where I was at my uncle's house watching. And... Um, immediate Beatles fan. So, uh, like I said, this album was released February 1964 in mono only. It was not issued in stereo until a reissue in the 70s. And then they changed it from T6054 to ST6054. Now, they didn't have all stereo versions for that re reissue. So, Love Me Do, P.S. I Love You and She Loves You were still in mono on the stereo album. Um, yeah, and as I said, the Beatlemania album was released two months before the Capitol, uh, now, uh, or released, um, prior to Twist and Shout. Um, interesting fact, it was, uh, two months before the U.S. would get their first official Beatle albums on the Capitol label. Canada was two months ahead. Now, 
Your second album in the U.S., for all the U.S. viewers on here, was this. The Beatles' second album. Now, this album has She Loves You on it. We had an album with exactly the same cover, except it wasn't called the second album. It was called Long Tall Sally. And I, I wish I had... They're the only three Canadian Beatles albums that I want. And uh, I finally got Twist and Shout back in my collection. I'm going to get Beatlemania and I'm going to get Long Tall Sally at some point. I just like to find them at half-decent prices in half-decent shape. And, um, yeah, so... Um, that's it. I just wanted to do a short video, let you guys know what the heck was going on with this album for you, our American friends here. Now, it's interesting on the back. Um, I would imagine that's all written by Derek Taylor, uh, all this uh, writing on here. And then personally speaking, I love these kind of comments. John Lennon gives his birth date and everything. Um, uh, it says, he likes the color black, steak and chips and jelly, admires the work of Carl Perkins, Chuck Berry, Benny King, the Shirelles, Larry Williams, Little Richard, Miracles, Elvis Presley, Gene Vincent, and Kay Starr. He likes clothes which are dark in color and suede and leather. And then uh, Paul McCartney, uh, he likes the color black, steak and chips, and follows the work of Ray Charles, Peggy Lee, Dinah Washington, Chuck Berry, Larry Williams, Little Richard, Carl Perkins, Fats Waller. As far as clothes are concerned, he favors black polo neck sweaters, suits, leather, and suede. He also plays a bit of piano, drums, guitar, and banjo, <laughs> and enjoys music, reading, and writing songs. Also likes music, television, drums, and cars. George Harrison. He likes the colors blue and black. Enjoys egg and chips. <laughs> Carl Perkins and Eartha Kitt. Where do they come up with these names, man? And wants nothing more than to retire with lots of money. He likes casual clothes. Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> and with lots of money. And oh, oh, sorry. Alfred Hitchcock and goes for the girl who is blonde and smallish. <laughs> In his spare time, you will find George around either records, the guitar, or girls. He plays one-finger piano, likes driving and television, and dislikes having his hair cut and traveling on buses. Ringo! He likes the color black, too. Steak and chips. They like their steak and chips. Ray Charles and Dinah Washington. Sleek suits and ties. He lists girls, drums, and cars as his hobbies. His girls are his hobby. <laughs> he dislikes onions. Ringo doesn't like onions. Tomatoes. It's funny now he's a vegetarian. I bet you he eats onions and tomatoes like freaking crazy. He dislikes Chinese food. Motorbikes. Doesn't like motorbikes. And Donald Duck. He didn't like Donald Duck. <laughs> and likes fast cars. And his ambition is to own a string of hairdressing salons. Isn't this freaking hilarious? Man. They must laugh when they see that stuff. Oh, wow. Anyway, I'm so excited to have this in my collection. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have any uh, questions about beetles in Canada, let me know, or I'll see if I can send you to an expert. <laughs> Take care.